Hello students, we are going to start joining process that is module 4 in the elements of mechanical engineering course. This is the chapter 2. So in this chapter we have three joining process. The first is soldering, next is brazing, last one is welding. So these three are the joining process. We are going to discuss in this module 4 in the elements of mechanical engineering course. Today's class we are going to discuss about the full of soldering process, introduction to soldering, what is soldering, principle of soldering, surface preparation is soldering. First we require surface to be prepared before soldering process. So in that we are going to discuss surface preparation soldering, advantages, disadvantages and applications of soldering. Introduction. We will discuss about the joining process, the introduction of joining process. Joining, why it is required? So, mainly in the fabrication process, joining is required. Joining of two parts, joining two or more parts. It is required in the joining process. In industries, aerospace, automobile industries, oil and gas, oil and gas industries. In most of the industries, they are doing fabrication works in such cases so then and there you need to join the parts to metallic parts especially these metallic parts only not i'm not talking about the non metallic parts so the soldering brazing welding entire all these three welding all these three joining process is totally on metallic parts only not on plastic ceramics etc okay so i'm talking only on the joining process of metallic parts so the fabrication industries, that is uh, industries of like automobile industry, uh, aerospace industries, uh, etc. The, they need to join uh, some parts in order to complete the uh, a product or a component or a sub-assembly or assembly or a machine component or anything, a trusses, uh, anything, any, uh, any structures you require uh, the metal to be, metal parts to be joined to at least minimum two rods you want to join. In a structure you require a joining process so joining process plays a very vital role in the fabrication industry so without this joining process uh, you the complete you cannot complete the uh, product you cannot complete the work at all you require some kind of a joining process based upon the application you may go for a soldering you may go for a brazing you may go for a welding you may go for some other uh, joining process many joining process are there so in this module, in this as per your syllabus, you have three joining process. And totally, uh, it is uh, on metallic parts. So metal joining is a process that uses heat to melt. It require a heat. Without heating, you cannot uh, join the pro two parts. You cannot join two metallic parts. You have to heat that. Heating is required. Heat is heat is compulsory required. Okay, below the melting temperature of the base metal. Base metal means what? The workpiece. The workpiece what you are using, that is a base metal. You have to heat the metal, then you have to join. Joining metal by fusion, you know, fusion welding. Without fusion, this process is a solid state welding. Okay. So, next. Joints may be temporary and joints may be permanent. In temporary means soldering, brazing, uh, bolt and nut assembly etc screws you would have seen the screws uh, all these are temporary joints that means very easily you can break that much application of loads are not required to break that joint a soldering joint you can break by your hand brazing also you can do by your hand much of the application is not required so a permanent joint is only the welding and riveting unless otherwise you require heavy force without uh, uh, some heavy uh, load uh, without uh, application of external heavy load you cannot break the welding joint welded joints okay ordinary by your hands you cannot break the welded joints riveting also you cannot do it to some extent riveting you cannot do it okay but uh, of course welding totally you cannot do by your hand that be, that is that is that, that that becomes a, a permanent joint welding becomes a permanent joint so two types of joint temporary joints and permanent joints Okay, next mechanical joining is used to create assemblies or structures. As I told you, so these joining processes are used to create, we have to make as an assembly of a product, a machine. Machine means what? 
is an assemblage of several components that is called a machine okay uh, structures you require some stru- some kind of structures you require the weld joining process from detailed parts uh, structural elements mechanical join- joining has been critical to the engineering such as in manufacturing structure and also in construction mechanical joining is very important because the result more faster than the other process next uh, we are going to discuss on the soldering process soldering soldering is basically is applicable in electronic industry you might have seen that soldering gun where uh, electronic people uh, electronic person say for example tv repair person he will use he wanted to join some uh, small uh, work in with a small component in the electron boards uh, printed circuit boards mother boards even the computer people also they do they use that okay computers printed circuit boards electronic boards some chips are there you want to join that that you might have seen so soldering mostly it is applicable for electronic industry rather than a mechanical industry because the temperature used in soldering is 450 degree celsius that's all not more than 450 degree celsius in soldering but if you go to a uh welding you are you are 1000 more than 1200 degree celsius temperature are used that is melting point of the metal uh, okay you have to melt the metal and you have to join the metal okay but here the whose melting temperature is below the 450 degree celsius okay the filler metal rod is called a solder you require a solder filler metal means what uh, you requ- you require some kind of a filling agent you know you are taking another separate wire like structure a wire like material and you are adding you are melting that filler rod and you are adding into the gap that is the joining joining means what some gap is there that you have to fill it up that is called as a joining process so this filler material what you are using that filler material you are melting with the help of a, a, a soldering gun okay then i uh, were that uh, when it is uh, melted it that solid material will become a liquid material that is called as a liquid uh, it will be hot condition that uh, that will be filled up in the gap between the two parts there by the joint the joint will be joint will form so filler metal is filler metal rod is called a solder and it is an alloy of a tin and lead so filler material is made up of a tin and lead so how do you define a soldering process it is a group of joining process used for a joining similar or dissimilar metal that means you can use similar materials aluminum aluminum you can use aluminum copper you can use zinc and aluminum you can use for this so the not only aluminum aluminum copper copper zinc zinc okay like this not only this you can you can use dissimilar metals also by adding a filler metal okay whose melting temperature is 450 degree celsius below below 450 degree celsius that is called a soldering process this is especially is used for uh, electronic industries in order to join the uh, the gaps present in the uh, circuit boards uh, printed circuit boards okay electronic boards motherboards and computers okay that there we are using the soldering process sometimes in mechanical industries also we can use where the temperature application is 450 degree celsius there also it is applicable some kind of sheet metals okay now there you can use this uh, soldering process uh, there uh, the temperature is not that much required so 450 degree celsius so there you can use the soldering process but 90% you can use the soldering process in the electronic industries a soldering pro- how the soldering process takes place first preparation you can see here preparation that is the part to be joined here this is the preparation first one is preparation okay this is a solder solder means is a filler rod okay solder means what is a filler rod so this filler rod you have to heat by means of a iron so this iron how you so this is connected to the electric electric supply this becomes a hot this uh, heat you have to transfer to this filler this is going to melt and when it melts the it, it liquefies that liquefied the material will falls in the gap and it forms a joint so this one portion and another portion you have need to join this okay first you have to prepare you have to prepare the surface because surface contains a lot of dust lot of other contaminants like the some rust part will be there some anything like oxides will be there 
you have to clean it you have to clean it by some uh, some kind of emery sheets okay some kind of uh, uh, cloths somehow you, in some way you have to clean the surface you have to clean the surface okay because uh, it contains uh, dust particles it contains uh, some contaminants impurities all these things to be removed before going for a, a soldering process then what you should do how to heat that so using this iron rod this iron rod is connected to a electrical supply this when you switch on that supply it becomes a hot this rod becomes a hot this rod you need to heat this uh, metal this is the metal to be joined two metal to be a uh, joint so this is a filler rod now the filler rod the work is not there simply we are showing here so heat use iron tip to heat the soldering part where you want to solder there you have to heat that next third one is insert solder that is solder is inserted now so once you melt this portion this becomes uh, uh, this becomes uh, liquefies simultaneously this also it is going to be we are inserting this so filler rod is inserting so this also will melt once this uh, okay filler rod and this uh, portion the workpiece or the component is melted it becomes a pool okay it becomes a pool again remove the solder remove the solder and here pull out the solder is what it is pull, pull out the solder okay so that both will join the both will join the gap okay this filler rod i mean sorry this is a component and other component both are going to join and after that you just remove the iron rod so now we are removing the iron rod here and the solder is already removed so then both becomes a joint pull out the iron tip iron tip so both becomes a joint first you have to prepare this then heat the component to be melt uh, joint then fill keep the filler rod or a solder then remove the solder then remove the iron rod this is the soldering process you need to draw when they ask examination explain the soldering process what is soldering so what is explain the soldering process next you can see the figure here electron electronic board i have shown here so this is what this is what iron tip iron rod this is iron rod is connected to a connect to electrical supply and this is a filler rod what is is what is using is is a filler rod so here the gas is coming the gas means the hot gases are coming it's the electronic board so in one hand okay in one hand is used that he is just holding the iron rod uh, iron rod uh, iron rod and another and a filler rod so this is iron rod and this is a filler rod and this is a component to be joined small component electronic component component he has to join this is also one more figure this is the iron rod hot fumes are coming outside because he is just uh, joining the uh, component next surface preparation the surface preparation what you should do thoroughly you have to clean the surface to remove the contaminants like oil rust scale paint etc by wire brush abrasion techniques etc thoroughly you have to clean the surface because it should not contain oil when you are doing the soldering process it should not contain any kind of oil rust scale sometimes scale formation will be, will be there because of uh, this oxides uh, the scale formation would have taken place that you have to remove it sometimes paint will be there small small uh, particles of paint will be there that you have to remove it any kind of uh, contaminants you have to remove the surface must be very clean or at least you have to use wire brush to clean all these things some abrasion techniques also you know, abrasion means some like a, a emery sheet emery paper you would have seen emery salt paper we see the salt you just rub it on that rub it on the surface of the emery sheet that is called abrasion technique one of the abrasion technique now by using a brush also you can do it okay somehow you have to make the uh, surface to be clean another chemical cleaning is also there you soak say sometimes some uh, uh, thick layer of the thick layer of the some scale will be there that you cannot remove it by any abrasion technique or some uh, any other uh, soft techniques you have to go for some another techniques like chemical cleaning you just dip it in the, uh, that chemical okay acid uh, acetone okay or acid etching is that uh, scale formation what has formed the scale some kind of a thick layer you can remove it very easily with the help of uh, a chemical like uh, that is called as chemical cleaning finally you apply the flux suitable flux 
apply the suitable flux flux may be uh, flux is substantial it may be liquid uh, or a semi liquid state uh, it, which has the following functions that we should understand what is the function of a flux prevents the base metal oxidation it prevents the base metal oxidation that means uh, when you are heating the component at the time the oxygen which is there outside the atmosphere the oxidation takes place so oxidation takes place means the component may have a possibility of corrosion that is why you have that you have to prevent the oxidation formation during the soldering process or any joining process or any joining process you have to prevent the oxidation once you prevent that component joined component definitely will not have any corrosion effect future so that is why you have to prevent the metal oxidation second flux covers the surface to be soldered okay why same thing it, it, it acts as a protective layer it acts as a, a protective layer the oxygen the gases uh, oxides sulfur dioxide nitrous oxide so many oxides are there in the atmosphere those oxides will not enter inside the joining component the component of the joint flux acts as a wetting agent reducing the surface tension of the molten solder flux cleans the surface dissolving the metal oxides so that is also very important flux cleans the surface and dissolving the metal oxides it cleans the surface it becomes a smooth surface also it dissolves the metal oxides so examples what are the examples uh, for the fluxes means rosin alcohol or zinc chloride aniline phosphate etc these are the some of the examples of uh, fluxes what we can use flux may be applied by br brushing spraying dipping etc so these are the ways in which the flux can be applied on the surface so as i told shown you here Uh, the component so you have to you have to apply the flux on the small a greasy thing will be you have to apply on this okay you have to apply on the component to be joined component to join flux you have to apply later you have to go for the soldering process so soldering is uh, a flux can be applied in the brushing that means you use brush you use the brush and apply on the uh, component to be joined next by spraying spraying also you can use the method to apply the uh, flux on the component i uh, dipping that is so entire uh, component you can dip it in the the flux that is also one of the method my advantages of soldering see advantages of soldering low power is required that is very very important low power low process temperature low process that is you have seen over 50 degree celsius or less than 450 degree celsius no thermal distortions thermal distortions are very very important see thermally when the component is disturbed there will be residual stresses inside the component residual stresses the so thermal distortions no thermal distort because you are not using you are not using a high temperature because of that no thermal distortions will be there the component will not be disturbed okay and residual stresses in the joint parts residual stresses are very very uh, important because these residual stresses what will happen they may damage during the application they may damage the component okay it's because of sudden application of load so there will be a damage for the component that is where residual stresses problems also is not no thermal distortions therefore no residual stresses microstructure is not affected by heat so when no thermal distortions are there microstructure is not affected by heat so what the, you know the microstructure the body bcc fcc body center cubing face center cubing so the microstructures so once the microstructure the grain structure uh, so these structures will not be disturbed because uh, the heat is not that much okay once you heated even you once you heat the material the, co the composition of the metal will change the composition of the material will change and definitely there will be a problem that is a problem with the grain structure when the grains are disturbed the grains are disturbed there will be a possibility of change of the property the mechanical property of the uh, component therefore the micro once the micro stress is not affected mechanical property also will not be affected okay so my, uh, why this is micro stress not affected because less heat okay less heat you are using low thermal low temperature you are using that is why micro structure is not affected by the heat so easily automated process easily automated that is for you can automate very easily anybody can handle this process any labor can do this solve soldering once if you just give training for one day he is able to do that soldering process soldering work 
dissimilar materials may be joined here dissimilar materials i told you earlier similar so copper 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 aluminium aluminium copper copper zinc all these are dissimilar okay not only similar similar materials aluminium aluminium it's not only need not be you can go for a copper zinc also okay you can any any other combination of materials can be joined with the help of a soldering process next high variety of materials may be joined high variety any variety of metals can be joined next thin wall parts may be joined very thin walls okay thickness of the material will be less that is also that is also possible with the soldering process next disadvantages of soldering careful removal of flux residual is required in order to prevent corrosion okay flux you have to carefully you have to remove it otherwise there will be a problem of corrosion will be there large sections cannot be joined that is very important okay thick sections you want thickness of the metal is more and you cannot do this you can have to go for another process okay fluxes may contain a toxic components toxic will be there poisonous components will be there okay that you must be careful soldering joints cannot be used in high temperature applications obviously correct or not high temp whenever the high temperature is there uh, then the uh, the entire metal will be melted you cannot go for the soldering process where the high temperature is required high temperature application is required soldering will never work then you have to go for a welding all okay next low strength of joints obviously st joint strength will be less only that is why we are not going for uh, this soldering work for the mechanical industries uh, only welding we are preferring mechanical industries are preferring the welding rather than the soldering this is applicable only for the electronic components only next applications of soldering solder is commonly used in electronics pcb printed circuit boards pcb means what printed circuit boards heating air conditioning mechanical plumbing sometimes plumbing also piping somewhere pipe you want to do any pipes there you can use this one plumbing joining the pipes fire uh, sprinkler and other similar systems as well as radiator manufacturing repair and sheet metal work as i told you sheet metal work for radiator manufacturing also you can use it is also used in jewelry and stained uh, glass work there also you can use this one there are some of the applications so you can you can note down you know, so when they ask question what is soldering uh, explain the steps involved in soldering uh, write the advantages disadvantages and applications of the soldering for 8 to 10 marks they may ask this question next types of solders what is solder solder is a filler rod solder is a filler rod that you have to melt it with the you have to melt it with the iron rod okay that will melt and the uh, melted uh, material will fall in the gap between the components that is called a solder solder is a filler rod remember solder is a filler rod there are two types of solders are there one is a soft solder this is a hard solder soft solder means what these are alloys of tin and lead so as i have told you so tin and leads are used so lead is 37% tin is 63% total it becomes 100% so solder is 100% so tin is 63% lead is 37% if you mix it uh, you will get a solder that's 100% solder a combination a composition of a tin and lead they are high, they are uh, they have low melting points ranging from 150 degree celsius to 190 degree celsius that's all so temperature is low temperature 150 to 190 and a very small amount of antimony if you use there you less than 0.5% sometimes you add because to improve the mechanical properties of the solder that is why so it not be sometimes is added in order to improve the mechanical properties to increase the strength that is why we are using some usually 0.5% of antimony is added but its addition what will happen it should controlled otherwise it might impair the soldering characteristics okay so you have controlled way you have to add this okay otherwise soldering characteristics will be damaged next use in light load and low temperature application obviously because soft solder temperature is 190 degree one from the maximum is 190 degree so therefore you can use this soft solder in case of uh, uh, light weight materials or light load applications light low temperature applications next hard solder hard solder lead is 97.5 percent silver is 2.5 percent the combination gives you the silver alloy okay with lead a hard solder uh, so silver alloy with copper and zinc silver is 50 percent 
कॉपर थर्टी फोर परसेंट जिंक सिक्सटीन परसेंट ऑल पुट टुगेदर हंड्रेड परसेंट इफ यू एड कॉपर थर्टी फोर परसेंट ओके वन मोर कॉम्बिनेशन हार्ट शोल्डर यू आर गोइंग टू गेट सो दिस आर वाइडली यूज बाय हार्ट शोल्डर्स द मेल्टिंग टेम्परेचर मैक्सिमम इज सिक्सटी सिक्स हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस इज अ हार्ट शोल्डर सिक्स हंड्रेड डिग्री अप टू सिक्स हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस इज पॉसिबल इन इन शोल्डरिंग इट सेल्फ सो ना वे एम टेलिंग फोर फिफ्टी नाउ इट इज रीचिंग सिक्स हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस सो मिनिमम इज थ्री हंड्रेड द मैक्सिमम इज सिक्स हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस सो डिपेंडिंग ऑन द टाइप ऑफ आई कॉम वॉट कॉम्बिनेशन यू वॉन्ट टू जॉइन द मेटीरियल सो देर यू कैन यूज दिस हॉट सोल्डर और सॉफ्ट सोल्डर यूज इट फॉर स्ट्रॉग अपलिकेशन स्ट्रॉग जॉइंट्स रेजिस्ट हाई टेम्परेचर अपलिकेशन सो सॉफ्ट सोल्डर इज ओनली फॉर लो टेम्परेचर अपलिकेशन हार्ट सोल्डर इज फॉर हाई टेम्परेचर अपलिकेशंस Next types of soldering is there. So types of soldering means what? In what way you can melt the metal? The iron rod is there. In what way you have to melt? The filler rod is remains constant. But in what way? Other the other ways you have to somehow you have to melt that. So melting what are the things we are using? One you are using soldering iron method. That is what usually we do. Torch soldering. Torch that is gas we are using. Some wave soldering. These three waves. Many others are there. So just uh, a syllabus point of view, just we are discussing three ways: torch soldering, wave soldering, and soldering iron method. So these are three methods. It is based uh, is only to give the heat to melt. Okay, to melt the what filler rod. Understand to melt the filler rod to give the heat for a filler rod, and thereby the joint of the two joining of two components, uh, small components will takes place. Okay, so the soldering iron method, first method. Soldering iron method, you can see solder. So this is what uh, you can see the copper tip. Okay, this is a rod, and this rod in turn connects uh, connected to a power supply. Okay, this becomes a hot. This portion becomes a hot. So this you have to use. This you have to uh, place near the uh, near the component be joined. Okay, the component also will melt. Again, filler rod you have to add. Okay, when you add the filler rod, the filler rod will melt. And you are going to get a joint. Okay, the most common, widely used this method, the soldering iron method. Okay, the tool used in this method is soldering iron, the copper coated tip. As I told you, this is copper coated tip. Followed. So next, uh, this uh, the tip of the soldering iron stores and conducts the heat from the heat source to the components being joined. The surface of the workpiece to be joined or cleaned thoroughly. That is I. Okay, surface preparation is compulsory required as it want to remove the contaminants, and you have to apply a suitable flux also before going for joining. So, like zinc chloride, hydrochloride, uh, hydrochloric acid, alcohol, resins, and some of the fluxes also you can use it as a flux. The soldering iron is heated to a suitable temperature, and a little solder is melted at the tip of the soldering iron. The iron tip of the soldering iron is called as the bit. is brought at the joint and the molten solder is deposited the molten solder flows into the joint by the capillary force the solder cools down the solidifies forming a joint the joint is cleaned to remove the flux reduces the need to prevent the corrosion this is soldering iron method so these wires you would have seen this total entire thing okay so to give the this entire thing is called soldering iron wire is there it was uh, this uh, it was connected to a power supply so this it becomes a uh, uh, by electricity it becomes a hot okay by electricity becomes a hot next is torch soldering torch soldering we use generally a gas so in this uh, a flame you can see the flame here a flame you are, you are getting a flame here so this flame you can obtain by means of oxygen plus clean gases some suitable proportions you have to add so that uh, when you mix the oxygen and the acetylene gases uh so do you will get a flame it catches a fire you will get a flame and using this flame you can you will uh, you will get a heat the main thing is somehow you have to get a heat how you are getting heat one is by electricity there is electric soldering gun this is another is flame so the flame also you can get this uh by oxygen and acetylene when you add so just like that how we are getting a, a flame in our uh, kitchen gas flame a natural gas we are using in the same way here for in this this is it called a torch so when you just uh, mix uh, the oxygen and acetylene in proper proportion and when you ignite with a lighter you will get a flame this flame can be used to melt the metal and join the metal by using a soldering 
so this is, is having some more high temperature compared to this uh, another one this previous one follow the flame generated at the tip of the tip torch tip is directed at the workpiece with a flux applied on the surface same thing the procedure remains the same but the heating uh, method is by flame method last one is this wave soldering so wave soldering so wave soldering means what by means of waves so this is a solder wave, this is a PCB, it will travel, it is a guide, a molten solder you can see here, one more figure you can see, controlling equipment, PCB assemblies are moving here, this is also one of the uh, waves are generated, in wave soldering what is very important thing is, this uh, popular approach of soldering a through hole component. A through hole component is it? This best used for this uh, on printed circuit boards. This method uses a tank filled with a molten solder. Is a tank? Is a tank filled with a molten solder? This is also tank. All are same only. The tank filled up with a, a molten solder. You can the entire tank is filled up with a molten solder. A solder is pumped and it's low. Uh, flow forms a wave okay uh, so this uh, tank is filled up with a molten solder and uh, this uh, uh, molten solder this solder is pumped and its flow forms a wave so as it flows it forms a wave as it flows it forms a, a wave of predetermined height the printed circuit boards passes over the touching passes over that uh, wave wave touching it with their lower sides as it passes printed circuit boards printed circuit boards are passing like this here molten solders are there here also molten solders are there here pcb is traveling printed circuit boards are traveling so as it flows it becomes it it forms it forms as a waves the molten solder forms as a wave that heat is the, molten means water it is a hot Molten means what a hot condition. Solder is in hot condition. Molten solder, so it it just joins. That it will make a it will make a joint in the printed circuit boards. That's how the way through the that's how the by wave method also we can uh, join the uh, printed circuit board. Okay, or any electronic boards we can join. So this is all about the soldering process. Okay, thank you for watching this. Yo, in next class we are going to discuss about the next uh, part that is uh, brazing.